start with an opening statement. Yeah, um, Virginia Tech came out today and imposed their will both mentally and physically on our team. And, you know, that's a team that's playing. Um, they got a lot at stake. They're playing for the NCAA tournament. They played like it. I thought that they executed at a really high level. They played connected. They played really hard. They played for each other. Um, and don't take – don't. I mean, when I say this, I don't mean this in a bad way. They play violently. And I don't mean that like they're violent people. They just play at a violent pace. And we were, play, we were behind the play pretty much from the get-go. I mean, they, they right away they tried to establish Kivi Aluma on the block, and they did. And then he played inside out. He had five points against us the first time and uh, hit us for 23 today and five for five from three. Um, so I thought they just played like a team that um, is playing for something here important late in the season. And um, they were they were locked in from the get go and um, imposed their will on us from the opening tip, opening up to questions. Steve, when a team. Oh, go ahead, Connor. What's the difference between this team now and, and your team a month, a month and a half ago? Yeah, um, I, I mean, I think the first thing I'd have to tell you is that team a month and a half ago played a lot harder. Um, I don't think we're playing very hard. Now, it's interesting because, you know, in practice, I don't necessarily – I don't see that as much, you know, but it's not carrying over to the game for whatever reason. And uh, – but I would just probably say that from the first time to this time is they just played a heck of a lot harder than we did. Um now, you know, we can get into all the other things and making shots, turning it over. But, you know, the most important thing to me is the fact of just competing and playing hard. And then, you know, listen, we have a fine line. I've said it all year long, how we have to play. And we and, and part of toughness is having mental toughness too, not just physical. And, you know, guys, listen, if we don't cut for each other and we don't move the ball and – we try to just make plays off one or two passes off the dribble. You saw what happens. We can't, we're not good at that. Now in the second half after, you know, going into halftime and talking it over, I think at the first media timeout, we had four shots at the basket, right? And we had a wide open three. Now we didn't make them all, but, the, but that's how we have to play. And um, it just doesn't happen consistently, Connor. But I would say that um, just the play hard part, you know, is, is the most important thing. Steve, when a team starts off that hot, what do you try to do? Is there anything you can do um, just, just from the sideline when somebody just comes out the way they did tonight? Yeah, well, we, we gave them a lot of that confidence by playing behind, you know, by playing from behind defensively and giving them, you know, wide open shots. I think, you know, we've shown in two games, like we've had a really hard time guarding Matthew Hurt two games. We've had a really hard time guarding Tyrese Radford. Now, I say that in the first half. I thought Quadre Adams – came in and did a really nice job of guarding him in the second half. But, you know, um, Ethan, you gotta, you gotta dig in, man. You gotta, you gotta take it personal and you gotta have some pride and you gotta, gotta force them to miss and not hope they miss. And then what happens is when you start getting that kind of confidence on offense, then, then the basket looks six feet wide, you know, and that's kind of how it looked for them. They made some tough, they made a couple, you're like, okay, you know, but for the most part, they were doing it out of, executing their offense, you know, and getting the shots that they really wanted. They're not running anything different than they didn't run last game or be honest with you, Wofford, you know, and they just do a really good job of executing it. Steve, how much does the effort thing you noted concern you about the next two games in the yeah, tournament? I mean, it concerns me, no question. And, and you know, I, 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 would, I'm not, I would not be honest. You know, if I didn't say that, and that's some, you know, that's probably the biggest thing that I addressed, um, you know, after the game. But it's not like I haven't addressed it for the past week, fellas. I mean, I have, and and I've tried everything. I've, I've cut back on practice. I've, you know, um, I've done as much live work. I've, you know, um, try, trying really hard to give them confidence. And that's the thing. There's nobody in that locker room I don't care about. There's nobody in that locker room that I don't. I don't want to see succeed, but they've got to help themselves. And I'm trying my best to help them. And I'm doing a poor job, obviously, because um, we weren't a team like this, um, you know, a couple of weeks ago. But, but 
you know, we did – after we lost to Florida State, we have played teams that are hungry, that are playing for something. You know, Duke's trying to get in the tournament. NC State's on a roll. Uh, Clemson's playing to get in the tournament. Virginia Tech's playing to get in the tournament. There's a sense of urgency in those games, especially late in the year. You, you, you know, late in the year, you want to be going this way, not this way. You know, and it's been a long time for me, you know, all the way back to probably – I don't know, 2003 when, or four when I've been through something like this. So, you know, I just got to continue to uh, to help them the best I can. And But what has to happen is whatever we do in practice, it has to carry over to the game. And it just hasn't – it just has not happened. Steve, do you feel like opposing defenses have really keyed in on you from from long range behind the arc? Yeah. Knowing yeah. That, that, that if you don't hit a bunch of threes, you really can't stay in a game. I think that's true, Les, and I think I said that from day one when we came into the fall that we were going to have to make threes. We made ten, but, you know, they weren't timely or, you know, in the guts of the game. But, yeah, I mean, and so then you have to ask yourself, okay, that's why you got to cut. You know, that's why you got to try to get an easy basket because we don't have, you know, and this isn't any disrespect to the talent of our players, but we only have a couple guys that can put it on the floor you know, to go make a play. And those, those teams know that too. And those guys have struggled to get by these really good, strong defenders. I think you could really see the difference in physicality in the bodies and the maturity of those players today versus our players. I mean, they look like grown men and they play like grown men. And so we've had a hard time with teams like that, that are physical. Clemson's physical. Uh, uh, Virginia Tech might be more physical, you know, and so – yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, but there's only so many things on offense you can do. You know, um, you, the best thing for us is to try to spread it and cut it and then try to get the ball to Odie in positions where he can make some plays around the basket. But he struggled with that today. He had a hard time. And, and when he has a hard time around the basket, then we're going to have a hard time manufacturing easy baskets. And you can't get anything in transition when they're shooting, uh, you know, 70-some percent in the first half, or 68%. When you talk about the physicality, uh, does that get you much more eager to get this team a full off season with Coach Mike Starkey? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we're not looking ahead. And that's a great question, Les. And I understand what you're asking me. I'm, I, I do. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, call, I called it the get right program. You know, we got to get right. You know, we got time for that. But we got to finish the season. You know, we got to finish it the right way. And, and um, you know, the only games that are left that are promised are Tuesday at Pitt, Friday against Georgia Tech at home, who's playing for a lot, and then the first round of the tournament. Those are the only things that are promised that are left, and I've told them that. And so we got to do that. And then, yeah, I, I think, you know, you guys have asked me, you know, what progress looks like. Progress really to me, and I, I've been, you know, is really truthful. It's just having guys in the program in the spring and summer that understand what I expect out of them. We missed all of that. And so moving forward, when we get to that point, uh, we'll have guys, you know, like you just said, you know, with Starkey and individuals, then hopefully through a whole summer of understanding what the expectations are to move this program forward. I'm, I'm disappointed. I am. And I'm, and I apologize. I, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm just, this is hard for me because I haven't, um, seen this before, and I really haven't seen this out of my team. You know, they've always played pretty hard, no matter what, win or lose. And right now, they're getting deflated quickly and early, and they're losing their fight. Steve, how much confidence do you have that they can dig deep in this last week and a half or so and, and turn things well, around? You no, know, Connor, I'm always going to remain confident and, and believe in them, and, and that's my job. And, you know, Pittsburgh's going through their – I don't know how they played today, but – you know, they've had their struggles too. And so it's a team that we beat, you know, a tough game, but we found a way to win. And so we got to try to go on the road and get a win, you know, and then, and then you never know when something like that happens, you know, it changes the whole mindset of your team. And we really haven't recovered from the deflating loss, you know, to Florida state. I don't, I didn't look at it. I, 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 and I, I told you, I didn't really, I wasn't really understanding why we approached the game against Duke. It's almost like we had won, but I didn't see this at all, you know, and so, you know, I've got to find a way uh, to do better 
uh, and I got to find a way to help them more and give them a chance, you know, to be in the game. And, and that's all you're really trying to do. Thanks, Coach. That'll wrap you up. All right, guys, we got Zay here. Zay, I guess first off, you know, we've talked a lot about this team trying to fight through and, and trying to keep its mentality good. Um, but, you know, I, I guess where, you know, where are you guys right now and in, in trying to respond from what's becoming a, a pretty frustrating stretch? Um, I mean, we're frustrated and upset. I mean, we know we could play better. And I think we've had a couple of practices where we, we feel really confident about our play. Um, it's just a matter of translating the practice into the games. I think like, Coach Mike Young and how he coaches his team and how his players play. It's not about how talented they are because I can say just from, you know, experience like playing my freshman year against Virginia Tech when they had Justin Robson, those guys, like those guys are just sheer talent. And like, you can just tell you they're a talented team no matter how hard they play, like they're talented. He coaches those guys and they play hard. And I think that's where we want to get like, you know, we want to get to that level where we're, we're playing that hard no matter what the talent is and you know how much pride, pride we got we're going to leave it on the floor every single night. So we have to get to that point, and I think we will. And, you know, we're, we're getting there step by step. But once we put it together, I think we'll be really great. So um, just mentally, you know, upset, but just trying to look forward to the future and trying to get better. Isaiah, how similar to the last four games feel? Um, I think it just came to a point where, you know, like uh, we just had to just change, I guess, like, the last four games was a point in the game where I think we kind of just laid down a little bit and, and, and weren't fighting. And it's not what we're, we're, we're capable of. Like I know what we're capable of. And as a leader, I have to continue just to push the guys to, and remind them like those games where even if we lost, we fought every single possession. Um, so we just got to get back to get back to that and, and playing hard every single possession because you know, the AC tournament is coming up. Anything can happen. Like I, I have faith in, all the confidence in my world that we can make a run if, if we play the right basketball. So, Isaiah, you guys played some pretty good basketball from like January 6th to February 13th. Didn't win all those, but were fairly competitive through most of those games. What changed in the last four games? Um, you know, you guys are tired, and I think we just, you know, at times when you get down in those certain situations, um, you know, mentally, you just try to find any way in order to get back to the game. And sometimes those ways aren't perfect. Sometimes those ways might not be the way that we need to as a team. Um, so, you know, sometimes we'll take bad shots here and there and, and, and it'll cost us. But um, I think in those games in November, I think we were just super dialed in, you know, on both ends of the floor. And I think we need, we need to get back to that. You know, this is a time where everybody's playing their best basketball, no matter how tired they are or not. Um, so we have to get to that point where we're playing at our best night in and night out. So, we just have to continue to build on, you know, those games from, you know, November in, in those times we were playing hard and look back into the, look back to the past and see how hard we were playing and, and you know, emulate that, that style of play. Isaiah, Coach Forbes was talking about how this is kind of a scenario he hasn't faced in a long time. Um, and I just wonder, what's it been like watching him kind of process this? Not necessarily the way he's coaching you guys, but – I guess just how he's handling these defeats, just like you are. Frustrated. I mean, I, I can see just coming into practice and even checking into the office. Like he doesn't get sleep. Like, and I have, probably have to tell him, you know, you need to get some sleep because he he takes these to heart. Like, he he he's been winning. Like, where he's come from and how he's just built it from the ground up. Like he he's built a resume where he's won. So he's never been in this situation before. I mean, he has maybe once, but he hasn't been in the situation before. I know he takes it hard because he's trying to put all, you know, all his might into trying to figure out what we can do to win. Like he probably has times that he doesn't sleep just thinking about what he could do to help guys and put guys in the right position to be successful for not only themselves, but for the team first. Um, so I know he, he, he means the world and he, he wants the world and he wants us to win so badly. Like it's, I could tell just on his face and just, you know, and, you know, we have to play for that, like play as hard for how much he wants it. And we have to win it that hard too. So that's really it. All right, that'll wrap you up. Thanks, Isaiah. Of course.